Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee Today. And today, we're gonna talk about all the curly hair rules. There's so many curly hair rules that us curly girls are supposed to follow. Now, I will say that some of them are worth following, but then there's some that I think should be more like suggestions on an as-need basis. So in this video, I'm gonna come clean. This is my confessional. I'm gonna let you know which curly hair rules I don't exactly follow. All right, now the first curly hair rule that I know we're supposed to do, and I've even recommended that you do it, but I don't really do it, is using cold or cool water on your hair. Now, if you use cold water, it's supposed to seal the cuticles, making your curls pop even more. Some girls swear by it. It makes sense that your hot water, just continually hitting that in the shower, is damaging your hair. But, I mean, I take really hot showers. I'm guilty. Anyone else, anyone else take really hot showers? Kind of think like it's like a girl thing, but I just enjoy a really hot shower so I rarely, if not ever, use cold water. I'm sorry, I don't. Number two, the other curly hair thing I don't really follow is using oils. I don't apply any oils to my hair. When it comes to my curls, I'm really a minimalist. I use shampoo, conditioner, and one styler. I know one styler does not work for everybody, but that's what I like to do, and adding oil, is probably great. It's just an extra step that my lazy self isn't really willing to take. The only time I've ever used oil on my hair would be coconut oil, and I will say that it was the most amazing way to detangle my hair as a pre-poo, but confession number three, I never pre-poo. If you don't know what pre-poo is, Pre-poo is like your step before getting in the shower and using shampoo, maybe like detangling your hair before you get in the shower, and I have detangled my hair with coconut oil before my shower, but I just, it's once again, it's another step that I don't want to take. Correlating to number three and four, coconut oil. I'm sure a lot of you guys are just over coconut oil. Us naturals like wore it out, we use it in its most bare and natural form. We have coconut in pretty much all of our hairstyles. Some of us are probably like immune to coconut at this point because we just use it so much. I don't know, I don't use it on my hair ever, <laughs> to be honest. But I will stand by, if you have a really hard time detangling your hair, coconut oil is really good to detangle your hair, but you should rinse it out or that mess is going to harden up real quick. Coconut oil should not be used as a styler, okay? The next big rule that I do not do as a curly girl is co-wash. Co-wash became all the rave and everybody was just anti-shampoo and just never cleansing their scalp and just only use conditioner. Well, first of all, if you aren't familiar with what co-washing is, co-washing is when you skip shampoo and you just use conditioner to wash your hair because shampoo could have sulfates in it which strips the natural oils from your hair. So some girls just ax it out of their hair routine and only use conditioner, which is fine maybe every other week, but you need to use some type of cleanser to actually clean your scalp. Conditioner is used to condition our curls, give it moisture, but it's not actually removing the dirt and buildup from your scalp. I use shampoo and conditioner every time I take a shower and I wash my hair about every four or five days. Another curly hair rule that I don't really follow, man, I didn't realize how many rules I was breaking. I'm gonna get my natural card taken away from me. But that would be protective styling. Okay, look, I do have two full videos about curly hairstyles for those of you that might want to do some different hairstyles. But if I'm being completely honest, I like those styles. That's why I chose those. I just never really actually wear them. I don't really do a protective style until my hair literally can't go one more day, like when it's definitely time to wash it and I just don't have time. That's when you'll see me in a pineapple, a ponytail, maybe a bun, 
but only on like day five, six, like pushing my wash days. Do I think protective styling is good? Yes. Does it actually protect your hair from things like the weather? Yes. But I don't really do that many that often. Now, if you do do any of these rules that I break, that's great. They're all great tips, but I don't think that you have to necessarily live by them in order to have good curly hair. I wanted to make this video not to discourage you into not doing the things that I also don't do, but I don't want your curly hair routine to be as stressful as it might be. So many people say that curly hair is a struggle. Yes, it does take some extra steps sometimes, but you might be making it harder than it actually has to be because you're trying to follow all the rules and you might drive yourself crazy. So my best advice to you is to at least try all the rules and see if there's enough benefit to doing it. And if so, keep on doing it. But if you don't see any good results from it, don't think that you have to do it just because it's in the curly girl rule book. Everybody's hair is different. There's different textures, there's different porosities, there's different density, different lengths. All these things could factor in on how these rules work on your hair. So try them out. If they work, keep on doing them. But if not, don't worry about it. I would love to know what are your curly hair rules that you don't follow. Leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you also relate to any of the things that I just said, let me know so I know we're on the same page. If you want to see me execute these rules and not do some of these rules on a daily basis, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I always give you all my exclusive curl tips in my Instagram story and my Snapchat story. So let's be friends, you know, go ahead and follow me, you know, right now. And push that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.